Hello everyone and welcome. Hope you're all safe. Uh, last week or in our last video, I created a tutorial on how to create a restaurant website. In fact, if you haven't seen it, let me just show you quickly what the website looks like. So here is the landing page. So this is, you know, a fictitious company that I made called Steakhouse and um, it's a nice clean layout. So this is something that you could actually do with Divi. So I show you step by step. This is the part, the last part, the testimonial part. And uh, we also have the menu here. And here on our menu, this is how I've decided to lay it out. Nice, clean, simple menu. And we also have the about page. Now on the about page, again, I decided to make this very, very simple with a video that follows here and explain more about the company. Okay, now finally, or um, on the contact page, uh, this is what we have. We have the address, the phone numbers and the emails, social media and a map. Now you may be thinking, why have I left out reservations? That's because this is what we're going to be covering in today's video. I'm gonna show you how to add the reservations and it looks something like this. So here, we can uh, set up these reservations to uh, allow people to book an appointment. And here you can also click here on this little item and choose how many people can actually come to for the dinner. And when you click continue, it will also show you the dates that are available. So you can see here 24, 25, 26, 27 are available. So you can go ahead and select that date, uh, the time itself. And then if you want to tie this to a payment, plan, you can also continue and uh, connect this with a payment. But in this case, it's just reservations. So it will save all the details that we collect. That's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now, before we continue, I'd also like to say if you're brand new to web design and you'd like to learn how to design professional looking websites, I have a special offer for you. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, which teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi, because what we're going to use throughout this tutorial is Divi. All right, so if you haven't watched the tutorial on how to create the full website, I'll link that in the video description below. So without wasting a lot of time, let's start designing. All right, so right now I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. So the very first thing you wanna do is to uh, download a plugin called Amelia. And uh, it is a paid plugin because I did quite a lot of research to find out if I can get a plugin that is robust and works really well for this type of website. And I landed on Amelia. And this, as I mentioned, is a paid plugin. Uh, it's not too bad in terms of price. I think it's $59 per year. And I'll link that in the video description Below. Now, this plugin, once you buy it, it can be used for so many other things. I mean, you can book appointments if you're a dentist or you run a dentist practice, if you're a fitness coach. I mean, anything that requires booking, this plugin will do that for you. So let's just uh, take a look at this plugin. Once you've installed it, uh, you have this entry here over here on the left. And when I mouse over here, you see all these options. So there's quite a lot to set up here. So let's just go to our dashboard. Now here on our dashboard, it will show us pretty much everything that is happening, the revenue you've made, the, um, the approved appointments, the employees, upcoming appointments, and so on. So as you can see here, you know, no one has been booking on this website, so we don't have any of that information here. But uh, I would like to uh, draw your attention to this tab called settings. Now this is where we do the bulk of our settings. Now. This is mainly going to be like an overview type video. I am going to do a dedicated video for Emilia and uh, show you how it, uh, it, it works. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna do here when you go to settings is to go to uh, new general settings. Now this is where you add all your information. So default time, uh, time slot step three hours, um, default appointment status, I just left it to approved. And um, over here, use service duration for booking a time slot. Now, if you're not sure what any of these items are, you can just mouse over your uh, this question mark and it just explains to you what that is. Now, over here on the bottom, I've just added my uh, country, country code. I mean, I could set a phone number here. I mean, but uh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't need to do that. Now, after people book, now this is very important, you need to redirect them to a thank you page just to show them that things are working. So the thank you page will just go something along the lines of, 
thank you for uh, for your booking. You know, your information is now sent to you via email or whatever it is that you want to see on the thank you page. It's, you know, it's, it's a good idea. Now, you know, I mentioned about the map. If you want to show your map on the uh, booking form or the booking page, you need to add your API key. And to do that, you need your Google uh, Gmail account. Okay, so moving on, this is where you set your, your working hours. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever, you can just go in here and set your, your, your time. I mean, that's your, your, I mean, your working hours. So if I click here on this plus button, you can see I can go in and add, you know, from what time to what time I'm working. And then I can just hit save. I can also apply this to all the days. And then over here, we also have days off. So you can set specific days that, um, that your practice is closed or that your restaurant is closed. Okay, so moving on. Appointments, this is where you set your appointment settings. Now here, I just leave it, you know, as default. I don't really do anything here. So allow booking below maximum capacity. You know, I just leave, it that, leave that as it is. The other very important uh, step that you need to do here is to set your company details. So this is very important because you want to set your website, the address, the phone number, so that people can contact you. And then next over here on the payments, this is where you get to set your, um, your PayPal, Stripe, or this actually integrates with WooCommerce. So if you integrate with WooCommerce, all your payments will go through WooCommerce. And with something like um, Funnel Builder, like Cartflows, you can integrate Cartflows into this. So let's say, for example, they book um, or they register, sorry, they book an appointment uh, at the restaurant, and you'd also like to sell them something else on top. You could, you know, sell them maybe a membership to the restaurant, for, for example, or give them a discount of some sort to have them on your mailing list. So there's quite a few things you can do with this. And also, if you were to use this plugin for, let's say, uh, for a fitness coach website, you could um, have maybe a free session and then do an upsell to a discount on a six-month program. So this is where WooCommerce will be very important here if you connect it with cart flows. But I, th I think in the future, I'll do a tutorial where I can show you how to do upsells with that. All right, so uh, over here, we have webhooks. To be honest, I haven't really used that. And this is where you activate your plugin. And then here, I mean, these are your notification settings. If you want to get notified via email, if anyone has signed up or whatever, you know, you can you know, set it up here. And then the roles, I just leave that as it is as well. So once you, uh, once you set all this up, uh, what you want to do is to come over here to, uh, to events. So this is where you can add your event. So in this case, it could be, you know, reservations or whatever it is. Uh, you can add your date, uh, date, I mean, the range of dates if you want, the times that you'll be open, and then uh, booking opens immediately and closes when the event starts. So this is where you get to add the price if you want to add the price for the event. So in my case, I left it here as 00, zero because it's just a booking. And... Um, one thing that I also uh, came across when I was setting it up is you need to have an employee set up here and the, the employee has to be available. So this is why I added my details here. If you don't add an employee, this won't work when you set up the appoint, I mean the, uh, the actual event. And then here on the services, um, you can see I created mine as a reservation. So that's the service. But in your case, you can add, you know, multiple services here. So mine in this case is just a reservation. So let's say maybe someone wants to book the whole, the, the whole place, like the whole restaurant. Maybe there's an event there. You can set up a specific event for that for people to make those bookings. And uh, you can have them all running at different times as well. Okay, now uh, I've spoken about locations. Uh, location is where you would set your details. So for example, here, if I click on edit, you can see I've added the name. Um, I've got, I mean, the the, the map is not really set, to be honest. And I've also got my phone number in here. And uh, this is where, I mean, the customers here, this is where you get the customer list. And you can see, you know, who's um, signed up for the reservation. Or if it's a fitness uh, type website, this is where you would see where everyone is booked. And the finance here is where you'd see all your, um, if you use coupon codes, you'd see them there. And... Uh, this will show you like a graph of, you know, financially how much is coming in and so on. 
and um, notifications, that's where you get your notifications, you know, via email. Now, the really cool thing about this as well is when you come over here to customize, you also get this color palette. So you can go in and match your colors for your website. So in this case here, I can just uh, maybe add a gradient. And once I add it here and save, you can see it's been updated. I've got a really darker color here. I can also change the text color if I want to. But you know what? Let's make this a bit dark because you can see it's updating here. I want my text to be easier to read. So let's go a bit more dark here. There we go. So now you can see my text here in the background really stands out. You know what? That may be a bit too much. But as you can see, I mean, it's, um, it's a really good plugin, very easy to customize and also brand. So you can make this look really, really nice. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this is the fonts. We only have two. We have Roboto and Leto. Ideally, it will be nice if you can have like your fonts from in the Google fonts that match your designs. But pretty much this will work fine. So if I hit save. Now, the question is, how do you add this reservations onto the reservations page? And that's a very good question. Now, to do that, all you need to do is to add a short code. So let me show you what the short code looks like. So I'm going to come over here. Let's go to our main site. So if I go on reservations and then enable builder. So this is just a text, uh, text module. And this is it. Amelia booking. That's the short code you need. And this short code will show, you know, all the, all the um, necessary booking items. And this is what it looks like. So pretty much this is how you set up your reservations page. Now, as I mentioned before, there could be other options out there, but this is robust. It's full of features and the price of this uh, plugin is not too bad, to be honest, for something as powerful as this. And also bearing in mind, you can add cut flows to add you know, funnels to this whole program. And if you're a freelance designer, I mean, this is very, very useful because you can now start designing websites that bring results for your customers. So if you're to design a restaurant website and you you know, you do this for your, uh, for your customers or for your clients, this will be fantastic because the website is actually doing something. It's taking reservations and, you know, if you add pricing to it, even better, you know. So these are the sort of type of websites that you need to be designing to convince your customers to pay more for your services. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.